Thanks, Ambassador. Uh, the, yesterday, the U.S. Department of Defense confirmed that they had just recently, during this conflict, uh, transferred ammunition to, to Israel from something called the War Reserve Stockpile Ammunition Dash Israel. And this was, they said that, they, they, that this is consistent with their position of support, of assisting Israel to develop and maintain strong and ready self-defense capability. Do you think, what do you think of that transfer at this time? And do you think there should be some kind of a, some people have said there should be some kind of condition on it. Basically, it's, uh, it's the ammunition that's being used uh, in Gaza currently being transferred by the U.S. to Israel? What uh, the Gaza Strip needs is not more weapons uh, for uh, causing more death and destruction. What we need is to stop this war machine. We need to address the humanitarian situation, to need to send food, medicine, uh, clean water, to uh, fix the uh, power plant, to provide people with uh, electricity, to allow people to go and dig the rubbles for the dead, one, dead relatives, to attend to the wounds of the injured people who are in the thousands in uh, hospitals. Hospitals cannot uh, you know, look after that. And to attend to the needs of the hundreds of thousands who are displaced, uh, uh, to, uh, to allow people to receive food stuff and all the necessary uh, things for life and to uh, stop this uh, uh, onslaught against our people so that all of us can think and think clearly and, uh, and to move in the political direction for uh, addressing the root causes of this crime and this tragedy and to lift the blockade against our people and then to uh, allow the people in the Gaza Strip the 1.8 million to, uh, to, to go back to as normal life as possible under occupation and to open doors for peace. Because while we are extremely upset about these crimes committed against our people and the killing of large number of children, women and civilians, yet in the same time we are not losing our mind and we are interested in a political solution to this conflict on the basis of ending this occupation and allowing for the independence of the state of Palestine so that we can put in place a two-state solution where our people can live in freedom and dignity and can attend to their wounds and move in the direction that is different than the direction of hate and resentment that is being injected in our society because of the crimes committed as we see it. Because when you obliterate an entire family with all of its members. And there are dozens of families that have been killed, all of them totally. And when you kill, somebody kills your children and members of your family, are these elements for uh, creating tranquility and understanding and, uh, and, uh, uh, and you know, uh, tolerance? No, these are elements of injecting more hatred, resentment, and uh, not liking each other and fighting against each other. And for us, if we want really to build a culture of peace, we have to stop this carnage, to allow for attending to our wounds, to allow for rebuilding our life again, so that we can begin the process of replacing this culture of resentment, war, killing, hatred, displacement, etc., by another culture that we are working very hard to bring to the picture through peace, through two-state solution, and that cannot be until you know, we put an end to the fighting now and we put an end to occupation and to allow for the independence of the state of Palestine and therefore to have a two-state solution in the ground. Thank you.